Hey, hey, welcome to a special edition of Cooking with D. This is a family edition. I think I would be too embarrassed to show this on my regular YouTube channel because it's too simple. I think this is something that uh, Caucasian people make, and I'm going to be honest with that because this isn't anything my mom would have ever made. Um, but it is delicious. Let me see if I can get some more lighting in on the situation. I don't know if this light works or not, but the, it might be too, too reflective. So what I'm going to do is get my hot dogs out. And I got the bun length uh, beef. Uh, Oscar Mayer ones only because Pam prefers this it's this is not a me thing this is not a preference on my part um, it's just it's ones that she prefers I'll eat I'll eat any old hot dog and <laughs> don't matter what I put in my mouth don't laugh too hard over there so I like my hot dogs a little on the done side so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to assume that we're gonna eat uh, two each so I'm gonna put these in the oven as is I did wash my hands just so you know let me get my paring knife and kind of make some slits in here just so that when they cook it cooks thoroughly the good thing about the hot dogs once we put all the stuff on it um, if it's something like if we get too full where you're only going to have one or you can't finish the other one, we're, it's, a, it's easy to just take the rest of the hot dog out, cut it up, and give it to Zoe. So I'm going to throw these in the oven uh, and just get these, you know, starting to cook. Maybe a little bit of brownage, and then I'm going to add the stuff on top. So there you go. All right, so my hot dogs are out of the oven. Just wanted to cook them just a little bit. And then my second ingredient, again, my hands are clean, is leftover mashed potatoes, right? So I just want to put a little bit on there. Make sure we can all see this. And you kind of like cover up the hot dog with the mashed potatoes. And I should have enough here for all of them. This isn't something I would have thought of myself, but the idea behind it is pretty good. So you can see how the kind of have the hot dog covered up. I don't know if this is how Pam puts them together, but this is how I put them together. Let me just get these over to make more room. Right. There we go. I think I have enough mashed potatoes for one more. Take a little bit off of here. Take a little bit off of there. Right. I just make it work. And then one more ingredient. Again, I washed my hands. And I am going to sprinkle the top with cheese. I had grated cheese yesterday. What the heck did we eat yesterday? And I had some grated cheese. So, see, this actually took like no time whatsoever. Sprinkle the cheese on top. You can use less, you can use more. I'm not adding any salt or pepper or anything because the the potatoes were already seasoned before you know before I put them on there. Because we just ate them a couple of days ago and they were just leftovers. So now I'm gonna put this back in the oven. Let those potatoes get warm, let that cheese melt. So probably another oh ten minutes. 
not quite done but you can see that the cheese is getting a little brown on top oh yeah all right let's check it out ooh, ooh look at that a little steamy there you go look at that serve that up I'm trying to make it look cinematic serve that up. Pam will probably eat hers with ketchup, like you would, you know, french fries or a regular hot dog or mustard. I have pickles on the table as well, just, you know, as an hors d'oeuvre. But there you go. It's time to chow down. Until I circle back around. We'll see you soon. Bye.